People looking to improve their health are taking part in the growing trend of elimination diets. Dieters cut out entire food groups in an effort to cure various illnesses and ailments. But many do so without the guidance of a health professional, raising the question, could these diets do more harm than good? Jessica Lee Anderson went on a diet, not to look better, but to feel better. I ate a lot of processed food, I ate a lot of fast food, um, and I had just gotten so tired I wasn't feeling very well. She researched a plan online and decided to go on an elimination diet. Anderson would cut out wheat, eggs, nuts, and most processed foods. Eating certain things in the diet had helped other individuals, so I figured, what the heck, let's give it a chance. Medically supervised elimination diets have been around for a long time, but recently a growing number of dieters have been tackling them on their own. We have wheat-free, gluten-free, nut or seed-free, as well as dairy-free. For someone who has a medical condition that warrants eliminating certain foods or food groups, the quality of life just improves dramatically. But some experts believe many people go on these diets who don't actually need to. Sometimes diet is not the cause of symptoms. You might end up eliminating a lot of foods and not feeling any better. And cutting out certain food groups without the guidance of a medical professional could leave you at risk for other health problems down the road. Dr. Lee suggests instead of elimination, many people should consider moderation instead. And if you eliminate too fiercely, then you can run into nutritional problems. As for Jessica, she says her elimination diet has gotten her the results she was looking for, and she's committed to staying on it for the long haul. I do miss pizza. I miss other type of thing, but nothing tastes as good as just feeling awesome. I would miss pizza, too. Experts say it's important to remember that elimination diets are a treatment, not a cure. If you do find one that eases your symptoms, you'll have to permanently eliminate that food group to keep feeling the benefits. But again, you have to, it's smart to take note that you have to have a health condition, right? Right. Allergic to dairy, maybe, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. All right, that's going to do it for us at 5 today. We'll see you again at 11. The news at 6 starts right now.